produce that. Watch Hollywood Squares tonight at... Wrestling fan, your old buddy Bert Furnace here with my final NWA update report. Well, maybe one more show, but I've been hired by a different wrestling company, so I won't be on this show much longer. Folks, let me tell you, they're still talking about it in Ashland City, Tennessee. If you were not part of that great crowd there last Saturday, so much happened, more happened in one night than happened in the last six months here in NWA Nashville. And let me tell you something. You're going to see something in a, a few minutes con concerning uh, my dear friend, Nicky Nitro. Folks, I'm not buying it. You know, maybe he's for real, but I'm not buying it. More importantly today, Mike Porter has secured an interview with Shane Eden's dad. Shane Eden is absolutely missing in action. We thought he was just avoiding phone calls. From what I understand, his girlfriend tells us he's not even home. He left for a couple of weeks. The guy is gone, folks. He's missing. And wait till you see the compelling interview his dad has on television today. Now talk about something going on tonight. Tennessee State Fairgrounds. Dangerous Doug Gilbert, hot chocolate Corey Williams, a Texas tornado death match. Falls count anywhere in the Tennessee State Fairgrounds sports arena. Are you kidding me? Mike Porter, what kind of nutcase are you to book a match like that? They're going to be knocking people off the balcony. They're going to be tipping chairs. This is a match. Let me tell you something. They might as well take the word wrestling off the marquee tonight because it's going to be a fight, and it's going to be a bloodbath tonight. It's nothing for the faint of heart tonight in Nashville. Nobody does a Texas death match better than dangerous Doug Gilbert. And, boy, is it going to be good seeing Corey Williams spill a little of that hot chocolate out of his forehead, if you know what I mean. And, folks, the goosebumps are coming because a week from tonight, Jerry the King Lawler and the cat Stacy Carter come at the Mule Day celebration. Heck, they're spending the whole day. Lawler and Cat are going to be in the big parade starts at 10 o'clock. And then at one, from 1 to 3, they'll be at the Shady Brook Mall signing autographs. And then the big one. Woo! 7 o'clock special. No, it's 8 o'clock starting time. A week from tonight, 8 o'clock, Columbia Grand Slam USA, and what matches they have signed. Sarah Lee taking on the cat, Stacey Carter. That one's worth the price of mission right there. Jerry the King Lawler going for the NWA World Belt all a week from tonight. And then Friday night, remember, it's a doubleheader. Dangerous Doug Gilbert, superstar Bill Dundee. And the list goes on and on. Mule Day Spectacular. We're six days away. Friday, April 6th, Saturday, April 7th. Get your tickets tonight in Nashville. Texas Tornado Falls count anywhere? <laughs> Dangerous Doug Gilbert. Hot chocolate core with Jeff Daniels, I hear you need to be looking over your shoulder. Lion Brian Ryan's kind of looking for you and Renesto. Ladies and gentlemen, you are absolutely going to love the show today. Don't go anywhere. It's an action-packed hour. NWA Nashville on the air, hot live and otherwise. Nashville, Tennessee State Fairgrounds. Spectacular tonight. Welcome to NWA Nashville fans. Roy Tidwell and Nikki Nitro here. Got to show you some clips from about two weeks ago at the fairgrounds. Can you believe this? When Lance Dreamer and Quentin Charisma was taking on the Devil's Disciples, Brother Ernest in the corner of the Devils, and the stipulation of this match was if the Devils won, Mike Porter got five minutes in the ring and only in the ring with Brother Ernest. And if he gets in five minutes, he'll show Brother Ernest just how to preach, man. Ernest offering Quentin Charisma money throughout this match, a big wad of money. You must make a lot of money preaching. Another poor example of bad management in the NWA today. Then when we had both guys down as Dante and Lance Dreamer, Dreamer desperately needs to make the tag to Quentin Charisma. The money splashed once again. And Quentin finally gets smart enough to say, hey, I get a better payoff doing this than wrestling. I'm going to go to the dressing room. He takes the money and runs. It's all about respect in this business, too. Well, I keep telling you, and I keep telling you the respect. Look at Quentin running. I cannot believe it. They're leaving this kid in the ring all alone. Now, what's this kid done to deserve that? Um, he came to Nashville. And then after the Devils 
gets a well-deserved victory here. They're going to show Lance Dreamer, hey, you're from Georgia. We don't like you very much. Um, we're going to beat your ass. This right here is what I'm talking about, too, Well, This is what made me do what I did last week. Everybody knows. No respect. Look, no respect. Here comes Quentin. Look at Quentin. Put the boots to him. Put the boots to him. Put the boots to him. Yeah, I love when fat men kick. Another payoff in the NWA, brother. Another payoff. And then you have the commissioner of NWA Nashville, Mike Porter. Now, this right here is respect to the sport. With well. an illegal chair, it's Porter. It's not illegal. He's clearing the ring. He's getting them off this young man. Right now, he's getting them off of him the only way Mike Porter can do it. Porter from Boise, Idaho, taking it to the Devil's Disciples with that chair. The Devils decide they want to get a little more. They don't want us. Uh, Mike Porter's no man to be reckoned with in the NWA today. In spot Looking up back. in the ring with, with a newcomer, Lance Streamer, and the wily veteran Mike Porter, who's been in the ring about as long as anybody has. And they just take it straight to the Devils. The Devils finally decide that... Clearing the ring, baby. Clearing the ring. Decide this ain't their day, taking the low road. Fans are going to take a quick break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Nashville used music. Not only the area's largest selection of used instruments and sound gear, we're now the area's newest and largest dealer of TV musical products, and also featuring new tailored guitars and rolling digital recorders. Come check out our newly remodeled showroom, Nashville Used Music. Lost your record deal? Need some cash to fix up that old car or just want some spending money? Nashville Used Music will help you out and buy your old gear you no longer use or need. Come see us today for cash. Nashville Used Music. An event this big can only happen once. A big two-day wrestling extravaganza, April 6th and 7th, Mule Day Super Blast in Columbia, Tennessee. First on April 6th, already signed, Bill Dundee and Dangerous Doug Gilbert. Then April 7th, New York losses the NWA's game when Jerry the King Lawler with the cat, J.C. Carter, goes for the NWA World Heavyweight Championship against Mike Rapata, the Colorado Kid. That's April 6th and 7th, Columbia, Tennessee, Super Blast. Our freedom is at stake. Our future at risk. Cuss And the Devil's Disciples, Mephisto and Dante, with their share of airtime today, taking on the Wild Boys, Ben Jordan and Steve Neely. And I have no clue who I want to go for at this match. It looks like maybe the Wild Boys might have the edge. We're here in beautiful Ashland City. Right down here in Cheatham County with all the good people of the NWA out to support these Wild Boys. These Devil Disciples... They really get on my nerves, man. They really get on my nerves. No respect for the business, dude. Well, no respect. And something going on the Wild Boys with double Japanese uh, thingies. And now they're just beating the fire out of Dante over in the corner. That's right. That's good tag team work. Two people working as one. That's what makes a tag team. That's Steve Neely with a knee full of, face full of knees. He's not hard. He'll get up. He's tough. Son, he's a Wild Boy. That's right. Nick Nitrous, I'm so glad that you're here. I've been wanting to do commentary with you forever, and then I heard what happened to you last week in Ashland City, and I just want to wish you the best of, in your endeavors, man. I appreciate that, too. Well, you know, I was here in Ashland City, actually, when this match was taking place. The Devil Disciples, I don't have nothing against them. They need to show a little respect for the sport. You see here, the double team addicts they're doing, they're not legal. The referee's counting. You know, I've, I've been on the bad side. I know what it's all about, but that right there, son, that's not winning the right way too well. No, that's smart wrestling, Nick. If you can get away with it, do it. Well, it don't look like to me nobody's getting away with nothing. You got Burt Prentice, you got Mike Porter. Mike Porter, he's trying to do his best for the NWA. I don't know what Burt's doing here. It's kind of like he's wild boys, he's devil. You know, you got good versus Abel, and the Abel's not going to win here, son. NWA's here to stay, too, well, to stay. Whatever. Mephisto on the outside pulling a gimmick out of his trunk. Well, at least you admit to that. You admit to that? Huh? And the Devils. With Ben Jordan not helping his partner here. In the ring, distracting Jerry Ryman. There's a count. Only a two count of kick out by uh, Steve Neely. Devils now, and there was a tag very right in front of the referee. He probably still couldn't see it. And Mephisto, the big boy, 350 pound devil disciple in the ring. 350 pounds? That's exaggerating a little bit, isn't it? Looks more like 400 of out of shape. I don't even know what you call it. And into that orthopedic boot of Dante. You know, I was mistaken for years now. It's an orthopedic boot. That's a loaded boot. No, it's orthopedic. It's loaded. I used to say that too, man, but then I actually felt it. It's just squishy and stuff. It's orthopedic. Well, you know, and Brother it. Ernest saying, you shall be healed, my brother. Ma'am. Oh, my God. He just they, healed him. For example, of management today. For example. He says, I'm going to heal your blindness. I'm going to make them roots turn back to the regular color. 
Whips him into the ropes. Dante going for the hips off block what there. Block. What a block. Turn around. Goes for the back slide. Is Neely. Got him down. Jordan not helping his partner out. The ref finally turns around to Mephisto saying, hey, um, move. And kicks him. You know, Mephisto can't seem to stay out of here. He just can't seem to mind his own business. He's just eager. He's eager to get in the ring. Tag there by the devil. Ooh, right in the, right in the throat. Illegal. The ref didn't see it. Double team. Bam! Ref seems to be blind. Maybe we need to get some good ref here in the NWA too. I've been saying that forever. And only a two count as Jordan in pulling. You can't blame him. You can't blame him. No, I mean, like I said, if you can get away with it, do it. There's no, there, there, there's, you know, there's rules, but rules in wrestling, you know, like football, if you do something, you're penalized. In baseball, you do something, you're thrown down. In wrestling, you do something, you got to count to five to stop. Well, this referee, unlike the rest of the people that come out of that locker room that I always come out of, he can't count neither. He's blind. He can't count. No respect. It all comes back to respect right here in the NWA. You only need a good ref like me. Good ref well Trying yeah. to get behind Steve Neely is the fans here of Ashland City. Up to the gut there on Dante. And Dante now puts him in the corner. Whips him hard across. Here he comes. And Neely out of the way. Dante head first into that top third bucket. Don't forget Mule Day, April 6th and 7th, Columbia, Tennessee, Grand Slam, USA. Jerry the King Lawler, Bill Dundee, Dangerous Doug Gilbert the Cat, all at Mule Day. Because we got Ben George with the hot tag in here now, taking both Devil's Disciples, and I heard an echo. That was an echo from Boxes of Rock. And here we go, all four men in the ring now. Big Dolly Brook breaking out. There goes Jordan on the outside, Neely now. Stalking Mephisto as he goes after Jordan Dante and Neely. Getting, uh, Dante getting thrown to the outside by Neely. we got Jordan and Mephisto on the far side. We've got Neely and Dante right here going somewhere. They're going for a hot dog. They want a Burt Prentice hot dog. Oh, mm. it, it, the concession stands closed. So now we got Neely and Dante just beating the fire at each other over here in the corner. They're throwing some good licks there. Too. Well, good licks, baby. And there goes the... This match is going to be thrown out. we got Brother Ernest chasing uh, one wild boy, one, one devil. Yeah, we got Dante and uh, there's the other wild boy. So they got Steve Neely. Down in Cheatham County, they're really behind these wild boys. Look at that. That's just what the disciples are. And both devils have been thrown out by the wild boys in this match. I guess you'd call a no contest being thrown out. Fans, we're going to take a quick break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. It's one of the most anticipated cards in Nashville history. Tonight, tonight, tonight. Fairgrounds Sports Arena, 8 p.m. bell time. Big card for NWA Nashville. Barry Houston versus Quentin Charisma. Robbie Ruffin to take on the Australian Hearts. Rob Ashley Hudson. Nick Nitrous versus Jeff. The Crippler Daniels with Dominique in his corner. Chris Michaels to take on Dr. X. Flying Ryan Ryan to take on Tim Ernesto. Dominique will be in his corner. Lance Dreamer versus Dante. A big tag team match with John Noble and Eddie Browning team up to take on the Wild Boys. Ben Jordan and Steve Neely. And in your main event, it's a Texas Tornado death match. Balls count anywhere in the building when dangerous Doug Gilbert takes on the NWA, Mid American heavyweight champion and executive producer of NWA Nashville, Hot Chocolate Corey Williams. That's all tonight. The Mecca, the National Fairgrounds Sports Arena, 8 p.m. Bell time. Texas Tornado, Steph, that's balls count anywhere. Doug Gilbert, Corey Williams, Nashville. Don't miss this one. Car Plus is your. Makes me want to go, Mama. I'm thirsty now. Want some cereal. Big match in the ring. Jeff the Cripper Daniels. What half of the NWA Mid American Tag Team Champions of Ernesto and Daniels taking on Lance Dreamer. One half of. Uh, he has so many partners. It's hard to keep up with now. Well, you know, I don't know how me and Daniels got into all this heat. You know, I didn't say nothing about his old lady's high waters. I didn't say nothing about his old lady's hair. I ain't talked about him. I ain't talked about his shape. You know, what he's got to realize is in the NWA, respect counts, the champions are the champions, brother. Lance Dreamer, former partners of Shane Eaton, who jumped into a limo because he got called or something and then got threw out. And Poor Shane Eaton. Maybe he'll come back around. You know, he got his daddy out there looking for him awful hard. All the fans of the NWA is looking for him. They hope they'll show up right here tonight at the National Fairgrounds. Maybe he'll show up. The only thing NWA's missing with Shane Eaton not being here is like three teeth. I think you need to get back on this match because this is rather important. You're looking at a champion versus what I call a rookie. I'd rather get back on Dominique, the camera over there. Uh, well, you need to leave the manager out of it. I'm not going to say in sports, use the management, because, you know, I took a lot of tips from that young lady. You took a lot of what? Well, you know, when I come into the sports, huh? you got to have you gotta have somebody look up to. 
I looked at like him for a while, but you know, hey man, he's a great wrestler. You can't take nothing away from him. You look at him. He Jeff is, Daniel. He is breaking this guy down right here. Jeff Daniel saying you've got an eyelash on your face trying to rake it off, and then you've got Lance Dreamer pulling the hair, pulling Jeff Daniels down. The crippler now comes up, a block. Big hips off there by Lance Dreamer and a nice arm drag, I hate to say, and Dominica showing Jerry Rollins something he's never seen before. Well, I'll tell you about this arm bar. And Daniel, see right here is where I'm getting my rookie experience from. I'm scouting him. I'm watching him. You know, they say he's looking for me. He's running around here kind of crazy too well looking for me. The other well, night he is crazy. He takes sticks and cuts people with it. The other night, son, the other night we Ooh. had some miscommunication. I ain't been able to talk to him, you know, but he, he, he he's talks. easier to talk to than Tim Ernesto, though. Have you ever tried to talk to him? Man, he's out there. All right, at Ernesto, man, you can't really say nothing about that cat. He, his marbles ain't all in the same bag. That's been a bad Alice Cooper trip. He's Lance Dreamer now getting, putting his hands on Dominique Gibbs, Jeff. And Jeff Daniels. Now you, see, now you see right here, right here, two champion. Watch him pull this referee. See, I'm watch smart this, watch this. And see, it, that's something you got to avoid right there. You cannot go to the floor with Dominique. You cannot go to the floor with her. She'll stick the boot to you. She'll use every trick in the book. I showed her a few. She showed me a few. Right here, you see Daniels holding the rope. Well, I know these tricks. I know these tricks. It's tricks of a champion. But it ain't tricks that's going to get over on Nick, son. Only a two champion. Jeff Daniels oh, just that was hard. saying, um, down boy. And knocking the fire to last year. I wonder if Dominique could give me a Bronco Buster. That's that big right hand that Jeff Daniels carries on him at all times. But, you know, if he just shows some of these rookies you state, well, he don't understand his around the NWA, son. Some of them are like a team. Yeah, sure. Anyways, tonight you'll be taking on Jeff Daniels in Nashville. Yeah, I know. Uh, once we get there, me and Jeff will talk about it. If he really wants to go with me, he'll go to that ring. He'll call for me. I'll come. I ain't scared. Uh, that's just bottom line, son. I ain't scared of Jeff Daniels. Even though he's a champion, I don't hold him as respectful as a champion. Maybe I need tough love to figure out just exactly what's really going on right here in the NWA. There's not going to be no more rookie babies. Blood is thicker than water, kid, bro. Blood is thicker than water. Oh, sorry, I dropped something. What'd you say? Mm -hmm. Big what about tonight? The big Texas Tornado death match falls count anywhere in the building. When dangerous Doug Gilbert takes on hot chocolate Corey Williams. Look, look at right there. One, two. One more time, the referees, I swear Dominique pays the referees off, man. I've paid off a few, I, don't, I admit to it, but now it's a different time in the NWA. Dominique was giving him pointers. I think he, I think he was giving him money. He gave him a pointer. He goes down for the cover again, too. The slowest counting referee in America. And look here, he was doing his job. He was doing his job. Now, now, Nick Nitrous, you say blood is thicker than water. Why what, what, what don't you explain that to me? Well, I'll tell you what, you just sit tight and watch right here. You'll find out exactly what I mean when I say blood is thicker than water. Maybe, come on, you can tell me. You don't need to know too well. You watch the TV like the rest of the fans do at home, son. They know what they're going to see right here in a minute. They're going to see the right thing happen in the NWA. What should have happened months ago, what should have happened months ago, son. Don't make me say it twice too well. Open your ears. You watch. Champions should be champions. You, but when they're beating up on kids, that's, that's not right. You remind me of Mojo Dojo. You repeat yourself too much. That's just because I want all the NWA fans to know that everything about the NWA is not bad. You got some bad guys out here like Jeff, the Triple Daniels, Tim Renesto, your Mid American Tag Team Champion, Hot Chocolate Corey Williams, Ashley Hudson, Tim Renesto. You have a few. Shane Aiden, if we could just find him. Quentin Charisma. Quentin Charisma. We don't want to talk about him. We've seen what happened earlier in the program. Dreamer. Leapfrog. Oh, both men hit together and both men down. Both men down. Now the referee starting the count here. Come on now. And Lance Dreamer desperately. I mean, making a good show in here against Jeff the Crippler Daniels. Needs to make it to his feet first. Kid is fighting. The kid is fighting. Kick to the gut there by Dreamer. He's right hand to the head of the baby. second one. He's back, fired up. Back to the Crippler up in the corner and kicks him with a right foot. Spin around, kicks him in the navel. I think he's got him right here. Back to men, whips him hard across. And here comes Dreamer. Oh, with a butt drop. Lance Dreamer now in control of Jeff Daniels. Back to into the corner. Jeff Daniels playing the okie doke on him. Did you see that? He wasn't hurt at all by that move. He got up. He's leading the kid right in where he wants to look at Dominate doing the oldest trick in the book. She's got the manager. She's got the referee. He's got the manager. Look at that. I can't even speak it. It's so disgusting. I, I'm disgusted too. Well, I cannot believe it, son. I cannot. Look at this. And look, look. look. Look, right here it is. This is what I'm talking about. No respect. Champions should not do this in the NWA. They should hold highest of honor. They should, look, what is this? It's Tim Ernesto. It is two on one. This kid does not stand a chance against seasoned vet. They don't stand a chance too well. 
But this is, this is, God, what a move. Oh, my look God. Look at that slingshot suplex. They're off the top rope. And, and right here, baby, when I say draw a stick and water, you watch this rookie right here work. He is on fire, baby. He comes in with a house fire. The fans love him. And I just take aim right here. They go. Brian right in here. We got two on one here. It's Jeff the Crippler, Daniels, oh and Tim Ernesto. The NWA Mid America Tag Team Champions taking it to beat. this rookie here. It's a beat. And I tell you what, son. Right here's what I talk about. No respect. The tag oh. Team tag. oh, my God. And they're going to hit a, oh my tag Double team Russian team. leg tweak. Brian Ryan. I could not have it. Now, look. This is that insult thing. And that right here. Right here's what I talk about when I mean you need to stand up for yourself in the NWA today. You know what? Now, see, when I say blood, sick, and water, baby, right here's what I mean. Blood is sick, and water. Blood, the guy on the map, blood is sick, and water. They ain't going to beat him. They're not going to beat him. I'm telling you right now. Nitrous backing off the Mid-American Tag Team Champions that's with right, that still chair. That's, that's right, right here. With me and Daniel has a misunderstanding. See, I'm not mad at him here. I just want him to know that you're not going to beat up on my cousin. You ain't going to beat up on my family. You ain't going to beat up on these kids in the NWA. Champions will hold respect. Uh, champions will hold respect. I will see it. And then a little later on that night, let's show you what happened when Brian Ryan had his match. And Lance Draper now with the chair. Wait a minute. And Ryan grabbing the chair and see? saving Nick Nitro. I want to say, son, that is when I quote, blood is thicker than water. I mean blood is thicker than water. So we're going to go to break real quick here, fans. We'll show you a little bit, you know, right after we get out of break, what happened later on that night. We'll see you in just a minute. This is Saturday night, March 31st, 8 o'clock, bell time, box office opens at 6. You'll see the NWA World Heavyweight Champion, Mike Rapata, Flash Brannigan, Lightning Lonnie Lane, Big Bully Douglas, the Tennessee Cowboy, James Storm, one half of Bad Attitude, Rick Michaels, Air Paris collides with Justice with Athena, Rob Williams, Adam Jacobs. It's all going to happen tonight. Loving Tennessee, loving Airport Armory. Be there! Fans, welcome back to the show. Brian Ryan here taking on Dante. And Ryan spun to the outside. And Dante ramming his head head first to that steel bone. I'm Nick Dr. Swatch. This blood is thicker than water. You saving Ryan. Ryan saving you. Flying Brian Ryan taking on Dante. What is going on? I'll tell you what's going on. Oh. At Brian, your family, we come out of separate locker rooms. Not anymore. You know, as the other night, I took all I could take. Right here, you see a one on one situation. The kids down. You don't see me interfering. Oh, Brother Ernest killing Brian Ryan there. Brother Ernest, another bad example in the NWA today. From that hair disease he's got. I don't know what's going on. Dante going to the outside. And oh, right between the eyes of Brian Ryan. You talk about, you talk about blood, sick, and water. I tell you, if Jeff and Tim would have just kept their nose, kept their belts around their shoulders, because they don't wear them around the waist, I ain't sure they fit, then I'd have, I'd have just went on, I'd packed my bag, I'd have left. You'll see clearly that I was leaving the building. I had no I had, I had, had no reason to do what I'd done other than the fact of the respect, blood is freaking water, and I'm not going to see no family member of mine get hurt, not here, not nowhere. Brian Ryan will be taking on Tim Ernesto tonight. You taking on Jeff the Crippler Daniels. I saw tonight it's the mecca of the National Fairgrounds Sports Arena. You are healed that one more time. Right. That is right. Brian and Tim, me and Jeff. I, you know, I had his back there tonight. He, he says he has mine. Whether he does or not, it doesn't matter. Blood, sick, and water. I'll watch my family to the end. Tim Dante talking to the referee now. Uh, Brother Ernest giving words of wisdom to Brian Ryan on the outside. And there's that chair. See, the kid's tough. He can take all of this. This right here doesn't bother me at all. He's down, but he's not out. Right across the back of the chair is Dante, the referee, still over there talking to Brother Ernest. Another deception in the NWA. And yeah. don't forget, fans, this Friday night, oh, Harden to the, the steel ring post is Dante. This Friday night's beginning of the Mule Day Super Blast. Here's Ryan taking it to Dante. See him fire up? You see him fire up? He's got him right where he wants him, right here. He's got him. Beating the fire it. out of him is Brian Ryan taking Dante, whipping him hard across. And here comes Brian Ryan, full head of steam, close on Dante into the corner. That's right. Baby. Takes him, whips him, reversal by Dante. Ryan hard in. Feet up, hit him in the gut. Yeah, and he Ryan now. He is flying. Now, this is flying in his back, brother. Look, and there's, now here I am. I'm leaving. Do you see me leaving? The fans, look, there I am. I'm leaving. What is this? Here's Jeff, here's Tim. I'm doing it again. I told you, you're not going to beat my family, son. I'm not having it. Not here, not the NWA, not today, not tonight. Right here, I had to do what I had to do. And here he comes. That's right. It's Steph, brother. It's Steph. Nick Tater Nitro taking it to Jeff Daniels over here in the corner. And Brian Ryan taking it to That's Tim right. Ernesto. Family working at his bed. Family working at his bed. 
And look at this now. Intensity personified. It's Nick right, Nitrous and Brian Ryan in the ring. And then after this, the NWA Mid American Tag Team Champions get a little ticked off. Let's show you what happened here. I tell you, whether he likes me or not, whether he acknowledges me as family or not, he knows my heart's in the right place. I don't want to see nobody get hurt, especially my family, not by no champions, no half. They call themselves champions. Let them do it one-on-one -on -one or let them do it two-on-two. -on -two. I tell you, I got to go too well. I got to get ready for the night. But Jeff, you come get some if you want some, brother. Tim, I really hate it for you. You got flying Brian tonight. Fair ground. Be there. Cheer us on, baby. Fans, your word's at. I'm Nick Nitrous, and I'm gone. Nitrous out. Let's show you what happened with the tag team champions. Here's Jeff Daniels. You know, you sit out and shut up and listen to what we got to say. You tell him, Crippler. Nick Nitrous, I don't know what your problem is running your bald ass head around here, sticking your nose in the tag team champions business. That's right. But I'm going to tell you something. Just for what you did, Nitrous, we're going to leave a little message tonight. Every time, every time you come to a show, Nitrous, we're going to have something that's going to be a reminder of your bald, stinking head, sticking its nose in our business, and we're going to do it right here tonight. And ain't nobody damn making us leave. And then security yeah. getting the ring, trying to stop. The Mid American Tag Team. Oh, that was stiff. And then the Tag Team Champions taking out security. And the lady security guard finally getting down. I wouldn't tempt Daniels and Ernesto. Brother Ernest bringing out some uh, sheep shears. And they're taking this security guard who's about incapacitated. I don't know if it's from the beating or the drinking. And he's going to shave his little head. It doesn't take much because he's almost bald already. But he's shaving his head in the center of the ring to send a message to Nick Nitrous. Nitrous is just gone, right? Okay. Send a message to that ball headed Nick Nitrous telling him that if he comes back, anytime he comes to Nashville, he's going to see this guy's head. He's going to see how they shave him bald just to show him the intensity and show him exactly what they will do to him, what, how much punishment they will put on ball headed Nick Nitrous and his flying Brian Ryan family member or whoever he is. The Crippler's got Nick Nitrous tonight in Nashville. Renesto has got Brian Flying, Ryan Fryan, or whatever his name is, tonight in Nashville. And they're going to have to see this puke of a security guard in his bald head. And then other security guards being stupid. They get up on the ring as Renesto takes them out. Daniels with a strict message to Nick Nitrous. Listen to this. Jeff Daniels, you know what I know, brother. You're talking about a bald man. You're talking about a bad man. Respect, champion. What are you doing, man? You're beating down rookies? I don't think so. That ain't what a champion's made of, brother. A champion is made of respect and honor for this sport. And being as you ain't got it, and nobody else in the NWA can seem to find it, well, Nick back, manager of the stars, super star manager. You're right. Not a wrestler. A fighter, brother. A fighter for what I believe in. And I believe tonight at the fairgrounds when the fans stand up, they booed me. They come bad at me. But tonight they gonna cheer me, brother. You know why? Because I got your ass, boy. So you come, you come, you come, you come get some. Because you're right. I'm not a wrestler. I am a fighter. And I am in shape. So if you want it, you come get it. No more rookie beating in the NWA, brother. Champions are champions. Respect is respect. And you will show it to Nick because I demand it. Friday night, April the 6th, Grand Slam, USA, Columbia, Tennessee. Mule Day Super Blast 2001 begins. It's the first night. And you know what? Timmy's not here right now, but I can speak for him. The tag team champions are going to be in Columbia Friday night. Porter says he's got a surprise for us. <laughs> it don't matter. You line them up, we knock them down because we are the Mid-America Tag Team Champions. <laughs> but now to business at hand. In just a few short hours at the Tennessee State Fairgrounds Sports Arena, Nick Nitrous, you ball-headed. Watch your mouth. Nick. 
I don't know what crawled up your butt. And I don't know what possessed you to stick your nose in our business. But you'll see a little bit of footage sometime on this program today that involves a little message the tag team champions sent to you, Nitrous. Every time you walk into the arena and you take a look at them security guards, there's a little reminder, a little reminder of what we think about you sticking your ball head in our business. Well, in just a few short hours, Nitrous, <laughs> you're going to walk that aisle at the fairgrounds. Nick Nitrous, superstar manager, manager of the stars. Notice, Nitrous, it didn't say nothing about wrestling in there. I am a professional wrestler. I make my living beating people up. You're a manager, Nitrous. Yeah, you're a tough guy. But let me tell you something. In just a few short hours at the fairgrounds, you walk that damn aisle and you get you a little taste of Crippler 101, and we'll see what kind of tough love the Crippler lays down on you, Nick. We've been friends in the past, but you stuck your nose where it don't belong, and now you pay the price. Tonight at the fairgrounds, <laughs> somebody's going to get hurt. It's one of the most anticipated cards in Nashville history. Tonight, 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 Fairgrounds Sports Arena, 8 p.m. bell time. Big card for NWA Nashville. Barry Houston versus Quentin Charisma. Robbie Ruffin to take on the Australian hearts. Rob Ashley Hudson. Nick Nitrous versus Jeff. The Crippler Daniels with Dominique in his corner. Chris Michaels to take on Dr. X. Flying Brian Ryan to take on Tim Ernesto. Dominique will be in his corner. Lance Dreamer versus Dante. A big tag team match when John Noble and Eddie Browning team up to take on the Wild Boys. Ben Jordan and Steve Neely. And in your main event, it's a Texas Tornado death match. Falls count anywhere in the building when dangerous Doug Gilbert takes on the NWA Mid-American Heavyweight Champion and Executive Producer of NWA Nashville, Hot Chocolate Corey Williams. That's all tonight. The Mecca, the Nashville Fairgrounds Sports Arena, 8 p.m. bell time. Texas Tornado death match. Falls count anywhere. Doug Gilbert, Corey Williams, Nashville. Don't miss this one. Wrestling returns tonight to the Lebanon Airport Armory, Lebanon, Tennessee, Saturday night, March 31st, 8 o'clock, bell time, box office opens at 6. You'll see the NWA World Heavyweight Champion, Mike Rapata, Flash Brannigan, Lightning Lonnie Lane, Big Bully Douglas, the Tennessee Cowboy, James Storm, one half of Bad Attitude, Rick Michaels, Air Paris collides with Justice with Athena, Rob Williams, Adam Jacobs. It's all going to happen tonight, Lebanon, Tennessee, Lebanon Airport Armory. Be there! Car Plus is your full-service automotive maintenance and repair shop. We are locally owned and operated with several... Bert, we understand there's a whole lot going on in your life. Can you tell us a little bit what's happening? Well, first of all, I appreciate you giving us some time today on your show, uh, NWA Nashville, which has been a staple in, in Nashville here for going back to the Jarrett Goulas days, affiliation with NWA, although I'm not a fan of the NWA anymore after the shenanigans they've pulled the last few weeks. But it has been an exciting week, Mike. And uh, I'm excited today for you to give me the opportunity to tell the fans there's a brand-new wrestling show coming right here to UPN in Nashville. Uh, WCW was bought out by the WWF, but WWF um, basically threw away their television syndication, and, and um, my boss has been fortunate enough to pick up a lot of the syndication. A lot of people think that this new company, USA Championship Wrestling, is Burt Brennan's company. I don't know none of it. But um, a lot of folks have a general idea who it is. But it's a show that, that uh, debuts next Saturday at 1130, and I'm hoping I get to be one of the characters on the show. But we appreciate and hope that we will continue a great working relationship with NWA Nashville and do some cross-promoting. You've been nice enough to uh, sublease the fairgrounds to our boss every third Saturday. Every third Saturday in Nashville will be USA Championship Wrestling out in uh, Nashville, and they're in Birmingham and Montgomery and Pensacola and Columbus, Georgia, and, and Huntsville. And, I mean, it's going to be awesome. But uh, we look forward to a great working relationship. And, uh, but I have officially withdrawn any affiliation with the NWA, and that's why I asked for the time today because uh, the NWA Worldwide TV title is no longer um, a concern of mine, so I'm giving you the belt today. And um, we'll have our own USA champions, I guess, is what the boss will do. So uh, you can do whatever you want with that belt. You own that belt now. Um, you control that belt. The NWA board has been really silly lately, Mike, and then you want to stay in the NWA, you go ahead, and uh, Bill Barron's does, he can go ahead, but uh, I want nothing to do with them three initials. 
and uh, I'm more proud than this was USA. But you and I, who've been friends for over 15 years, will remain that. And uh, you and I, along with Cookie McCoo, will keep Nashville hot, live and otherwise, every Saturday night in Nashville. And you got a big card tonight in Nashville. I got a card in Lebanon. Next Saturday, we're all going to be in Mule Day celebrating with Jerry the King Lawler and the Cats. And then you and I are going to do a little History of Nashville big show in May. Um, we're bringing the Fabs and Jackie Fargo and Sputnik Monroe and a lot of the others back. So I think it's an exciting time uh, for everybody with the new USA Championship Wrestling Show and NWA Nashville, and it gives the guys a lot more places to work. You know, we've got a great working relationship with Power Pro Wrestling in, in Memphis with Randy Hales. And, in fact, um, this, uh, this morning, uh, Ashley Hudson, Corey Williams, Prince Justice, and Athena uh, are in Memphis doing the live show over there on Channel 5. So a, a great uh, a group of talent is emerging from this, and, and they can only have spectacular wrestling shows. Well, all I can say, Bert, is that NWA's laws is Nashville's gym. Well, we hope so, but I think it's going to be an exciting show. It's not going to be a, your typical wrestling show, and the boss has some great plans, and I just hope that I get to be a big part of it. A lot of familiar faces and a lot of, a lot of new stars. I understand you've got a lot of stars coming in. Uh, it's going to be good. Next Saturday, you're going to want to watch the show. It premieres 1130. Everywhere where WCW Worldwide was in this area, basically, is where USA Championship Wrestling will be. premieres next Saturday, 1130, just an hour. You got them from 930 to 1030. And we'll take it from 11.30 to 12.30. Fantastic. So have breakfast with you and lunch with us. Sounds good to me, Bert. That's right. We'll see you there, folks. Remember tonight, Nashville, Fairgrounds, you folks in Wilson County, Lebanon. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, Meal Days next week is the biggest card that will ever be promoted. Friday night, April 6th, Dangerous Doug Gilbert, Superstar Bill Dundee. The place will not hold everybody. Get your advance tickets tonight. And then next Saturday, Everybody, and I mean everybody, is going to be the only show running in the territory, the only show that's going to draw anything in the territory next Saturday night, Columbia, Lawler, and Rapata, and a lot of the troublemakers in the dressing. It's going to be interesting. And from what I understand, a lot of our friends from World Championship Wrestling are going to be lurking backstage. So who knows who's going to be involved? Everybody come out. Mule Days, April 6th and 7th. Absolutely. Hello, I'm Tony Eden. I'm Shane Eden's father. I've been looking for Shane. He hasn't called or nothing. Son, I saw what happened. Wrestling's not everything. Me and my mother were, were worried about you. I haven't heard from you, phone call. I don't even know whether you're alive or dead. Please, please give me a call. Everybody's worried about you. I got, I, I got to hear from you. It's, it's, it's just tearing me and your mother up. We, we, we just can't stand it no more. It's, it's just driving us crazy. I really need you. Shane, please, please, son, give me a call. Wrestling is not the world. Everybody needs you. We love you so much. I, 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 can't, I got to have you. Please, please, Shane, come home or call. I've got to hear from you. Please just pick up the phone wherever you're at. Pick up the phone and give us a call. I love you so much. Please, please, give me a call, Shane. I'm Michael Perko. Rick Hollifield's terrible accident is something I might have covered. Great. Nashville Sports Arena. Nashville, Tennessee. Renesto, you got to come down and face me one-on-one. -on -one. But somehow I know that the crippler, Jeff Daniels, is going to be right there with you somewhere. So I'm going to have eyes in the back of my head so I can see the two of you. Now, I'm going to touch another little subject. Daniels, I know you got to face Nick Nichols. Nick, you stuck your neck out for me, brother. I always return a favor if it need be. You do take care of your business, and I'll take care of mine. All right, fans, here we go. Main event of the evening, New South versus Patrick Blaine Miller and Dangerous Doug Gilbert. Gilbert having car trouble and not making it to Ashland City at this time, so the match is going to start off against New South in a handicap match against Patrick Blaine Miller. And we're going to show you a little later on exactly what happened in the duration of this match to set up Mule Days the first night, Friday, April 6th, ATM in Columbia, Tennessee, Grand Slam USA, the main event at Mule Day. Go down the end, Dangerous Doug Gilbert to take on Ashley Hudson and Corey Williams, the New South, in an Australian Outback Survival match, Boomerang on a pole. And that's just going to be killer on Friday night, April 6th, for the beginning of Mule Day Super Blast. Also, 
Corey Williams and Doug Gilbert still have not settled their differences, and tonight they will meet in Nashville in a Texas Tornado death match. Falls count anywhere in the building. Dangerous Doug Gilbert and hot chocolate Corey Williams. Now we got New South folks working over Patrick Blaine Miller here in Ashland City. Doug Gilbert finally making it, bringing that baseball bat straight from his car and just wearing out the side of the head of Hudson, and there's one for Williams. Taking New South out now is dangerous Doug Gilbert. Corey Williams now going down hard and going to the outside, and there goes Ashley Hudson, and he's bucking out because here comes the bat by dangerous Doug Gilbert. Gil hey, hey, Jeff. Hey, Jim Will. Where the hell is Nick Knuckles? I heard him in there. I was at home, turned on my TV, and heard him in there running his mouth. I came down to the TV stage. Where the hell is he at? He, he left Jeff. Like, he went to Krispy Kreme or something. I don't know. Yeah, you would cover up for it. I'm going to look. But Give me a job, Will. Jeff Daniels uh, pursuing Nick Nitrix. Lord knows what's going to happen tonight when these two meet. Fans, we got to take the, a quick commercial break. Don't go anywhere. New South versus Patrick Blaine Miller and Dangerous Doug Gilbert right after this. An event this big can only happen once. A big two-day wrestling extravaganza April 6th. Burning Atomic drop three octaves higher. Don't forget tonight the main event in Nashville. Texas Tornado death match. Both got anywhere in the building. Dangerous Doug Gilbert to take on hot chocolate Corey Williams. Friday, 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 April 6th, Grand Slam USA, the beginning of Deal Day Super Blast, the big main event, Superstar Bill Dundee, and Dangerous Doug Gilbert to take on Ashley Hudson and Corey Williams and Usa in an Australian Outback Survival Match. Boomerang on the pole, baseball match to the gut of hot chocolate Corey Williams is Doug Gilbert. Ashley Hudson inside the ring as Gilbert with the bat across the throat of Corey Williams. Ashley Hudson with that boomerang in the ring. Get over there, camera. And there he goes. Take it out, Patrick Blade Miller with the boomerang down for the cover. The old referee getting back in there. Going after the count. One, two, three counts. New South defeat Patrick Blade Miller and Dangerous Doug Gilbert. Corey Williams has two consecutive victories over Dangerous Doug Gilbert. Hey, you're right. Where the hell did Knockers go? I tell you what. You want to talk about tonight? Tonight at the fairgrounds, me and Nitrous, Nitrous, your ass is mine. I'll see you at the fairground. You know, as executive producer of NWA Nashville, the Mid-America Heavyweight Champion, being Bill Barron's personal eyes and ears up here in NWA Nashville, also spokesperson of the New South, I have a lot of duties and obligations to fulfill. And one is to bring this to you, fans. How stupid... Mike Porter and Dangerous Doug Gilbert really are. Mike Porter, you've been in the wrestling business 3,613 years, and you still don't know stipulations of matches. Doug Gilbert, you've been in the business two years less than Mike Porter. Everybody knows a Texas Tornado death match. There are no falls. The man who cannot answer the bell after the 10 count is the loser. And then you have a street fight where falls count anywhere in the building. Mike Porter, what did you go and book a Texas Tornado death match, falls count anywhere in the building? Doesn't make any sense. But, Doug Gilbert, I heard your little comment. You still consider me a walker. I can tell it by the tone in your voice. Well, Doug, tonight... It ain't about my title. No. Tonight, it's about a young man who started this business six and a half years ago, Doug Gilbert. You were already a top name in this area, in this game. And Doug Gilbert, I used to get up every Saturday morning, drive to Memphis, Tennessee. And for what? For them to treat me like a piece of dirt. For them to put me in matches against guys like you, guys like Tommy Wildfire Rich, among others, just to have my ass handed to me in under two minutes. But this ain't six and a half years ago. Because I took each and every one of those ass whoopings, Doug Gilbert. I took everything I learned from watching videotapes, Doug Gilbert. And I took everything, everything, and I compiled it all together. And while you off Caliban in Japan, Doug Gilbert, I stayed in this area, making a name for myself, scratching and clawing and scratching and clawing. And you come back, and you can't stand the fact 
that a guy that you used to walk over in under two minutes six and a half years ago is on top of the mountain right now. But you also can't stand the fact that the guy that you used to beat under two and a half minutes holds two consecutive victories over you. So if it's a Texas Tornado death match, falls down anywhere match that they want tonight, National, you better be ready, Doug Gilbert. You can bring your chains. You can bring your boards. You can bring your baseball bats. You can bring your fire. You can bring anything that you want, Doug Gilbert. And I'm going to show you, it's like all the rednecks in Nashville, <laughs> just like Mike Porter. Why I am a promoter's worst nightmare. I'm Hot Chocolate Corey Williams. I am an intelligent hoodlum. Corey Williams. Boy, you better think before you do. See, when you react before you think what's going to happen to you, it comes down to tonight, the 31st of March. Have you ever thought about when you started wrestling? Have you ever thought about when it might be the last single time that you ever step in one of these wrestling rings in your entire life? Well, listen to me, boy, and listen good. Because let me tell you one thing. There's two things in life you do not do. You do not step on Superman's cape, and you damn sure don't mess with Dangerous Doug Gilbert. Listen to me, Corey Williams. So help me. So help me, God, tonight, the National Fairgrounds, if you love your mama a whole lot, if you love your girlfriend a whole lot, if there's anybody in this world that you really think about, you better give them a big kiss because, so help me, I'm going to set your head on fire. Texas death match falls count anywhere. The Nashville Fairgrounds, it will be like the old song. The famous final scene. I was sent out here today to do a scripted interview, but I'm not going to do that. Today I'm going to talk to you from my heart, and I'm going to keep it short because I don't need two and a half minutes to get my point across. I don't get paid for TV time. I get paid to put asses in the seat, and my message goes to all you boys in the back that call yourself professional wrestlers. When you step in the ring with me, what you see is what you get. No gimmicks, but don't you ever turn your back on me because that I learned here and as for you Corey Williams you leave your ego in the car because tonight you had better be on your game it's one of the most anticipated cards in Nashville history tonight 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 Fairgrounds Sports Arena 8 p.m. bell time Vic Card Grand WA Nashville Barry Houston versus Quentin Charisma Robbie Ruffin then takes on the Australian Hearts Rob Ashley Hudson Nick Nitrous versus Jeff the Crippler Daniels with Dominique in his corner. Chris Michaels to take on Dr. X. Flying Brian Ryan to take on Tim Ernesto. Dominique will be in his corner. Lance Dreamer versus Dante. A big tag team match with John Noble and Eddie Browning team up to take on the Wild Boys. Ben Jordan and Steve Neely in your main event. It's a Texas Tornado death match. Balls count anywhere in the building when dangerous Doug Gilbert takes on the NWA, Mid-American Heavyweight Champion and Executive Producer of NWA Nashville, Hot Chocolate Corey Williams. That's all tonight. The Mecca, the National Fairgrounds Sports Arena, 8 p.m. bell time. Texas Tornado, death match, balls count anywhere. Doug Gilbert, Corey Williams, Nashville. Don't miss this one. This is not a test. This week, plus Friday, Saturday, and Sunday only at Beeman Toyota and Beeman Pontiac GMC on Broadway, get your best deal, starting with 0% financing. This week, plus Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, that's what... Flower of NWA Nashville. Jay Needham, if you're out there, I know you're watching the show. You're addicted to the show. Call your dad, for God's sake. Call somebody. Let us know how you are. Was that a compelling interview? Tony Eaton, his heart is broken. And, and Shane, it's time to come home. We don't care how bad the scars are. We want you back in NWA Nashville. I'm Mike Porter. <laughs> I hope you have double insurance policy tonight because I'm telling you, when Dangerous Doug Gilbert and Corey Williams collide in a Texas tornado death match, falls count anywhere, <laughs> I wouldn't have booked that one. But that's going to be wild. It's going to be worth the price of admission, I guarantee you. Ashley Hudson, Corey Williams, what's happening there? Do you know it? And, and they tell me there's a boomerang on a pole match in Columbia next Friday night. Man, Mule Days gets bigger and bigger. But tonight's a big one. Tennessee State Fairgrounds. We want to see you there. And, folks, don't forget, brand-new show coming to Nashville Television, 
Next Saturday premieres at 11.30 in WCW's old time slot. Just an hour later than, than this show, we're going to be USA Championship Wrestling. And please tune in and see us all over there, too. Friends of NWA Nashville, if you know what I mean. Box office. Finale of Super Black. 